Sydney Aquarium. I'm an aquarist here at Sea Life Sydney and um, I like to look after jellyfish every now and then. Behind the camera we've got Dana and Emma so we're going to be answering all your questions about jellyfish. Um, so jellyfish are really cool. Um, they're not actually fish. They're a cnidarian that's sort of closely related to corals. So these are upside down jellies and they're found in mangroves and salt marshes. Uh, they're really cool because they have the tentacles on the top instead of the bottom like your normal jellyfish would. And so they sit on their bell on the bottom of the substrate or the sand here. Um, they're super pretty. I really like these ones as opposed to your blue bottles that might sting you or your box jellyfish that are really deadly. <coughs> um, so we have like this guy floating around here. They do swim throughout the water column like your blue bub blubbers or your moon jellies and they just eat tiny little invertebrates, little shrimp and uh, other things throughout the water column. <coughs> now these guys aren't venomous at all. Um, although I wouldn't really want to touch them or play with them too much because we might hurt them. They're pretty fragile. Um, and so they are really cool to watch swim around though. Now jellyfish are not fish because they're cnidarians, which is sort of like your corals and your anemones. And so why they're classed as cnidarians is they, because they have a pneumatocyst. Now the pneumatocyst is a stinging cell that will shoot out from their tentacles uh, when they're trying to feed. And so that's what your corals and your anemones do that Nemo or someone else might um, be sitting in that you might know from. Um, and so that's how they get their food. The blubbers will have their tentacles hanging out and then when the shrimp swim past, the pneumatocysts will shoot out and capture their prey and then they'll chew them up. Now jellyfish don't have any brains, they're pretty uh, simple creatures. They do have a gut though and so they use their pneumatocysts to capture their prey and then they will digest this, uh, this invertebrate, this little shrimp in their mouth, uh, in their gut and then they only have a mouth so the food after they've digested it will then come out of their mouth again or their waste will come out of their mouth. <coughs> now jellyfish are really cool because they have like a, a two sets of life cycles I guess and so when they breed the male and female jellyfish will produce eggs and um, and sperm and so they'll fertilize the eggs and then that'll float around in the water column and attach to a piece of a stone, log, wood, whatever else <coughs> and then when the temperature of the water heats up or there's enough food in the water um, this will start to grow into a tiny little polyp that looks like a tiny little tree and then again when the water heats up it'll produce a tiny little ephyra tiny little jellyfish and so this jellyfish will float around in the water column so there's not any tiny little baby jellyfish in here just yet but these will float around in the water column and uh, eat up all the tiny little shrimp and invertebrates and eventually grow up to be one of these big guys now, we have a question. awesome uh, what jellies do we have here at sea life sydney so we have three different species of jellyfish right now so we have the blubber jellyfish, which are sort of the big orange ones that you might find in the Hawkesbury River or around Port Stephens in New South Wales. They're found all up and down the east coast of Australia, um, particularly lower than Queensland because they're a more temperate species. Um, then we have the upside down jellyfish that are here. So these are more tropical jellyfish that are found in northern Queensland um, throughout mangroves um, and in warmer waters. And then we have the moon jellies as well that are found up and down the east coast of Australia. So the blubber jellyfish and the moon jellyfish are the ones that you would normally see that sort of look like a blue bottle a little bit with the tentacles hanging out the bottom and the bell on the top. And then the upside down jellyfish as you can see here are the weird ones that are upside down. Um, we do get a lot of white spots which are really cool. They're really large and have um, a lot of different tentacles coming off the bottom of them. And so they're sort of photosynthetic. Um, in that they use these algal deposits on their tentacles to um, to then gain energy from because they use the um, zoanthoi in the algal deposits um, and then gain energy from photosynthesis. These guys do as well. 
Um, <coughs> but the, the blubbers uh, and the moon jellyfish and the upside downs aren't venomous at all. Oh my god, it's really hot in here. <laughs> So these are the blubbers that we were talking about. Um, these guys would be found in Hawkesbury River. Um, they do get quite a bit larger, but you can find them um, in a lot smaller sizes as well. So they vary quite a bit in this tank. Um, and then you might be able to see all the little dust particle looking things. It's just the, the mints. It's sort of shredded mussel and, and prawn that we feed these guys. And then um, tiny, tiny shrimp, um, sort of like sea monkeys is what what we'll feed these so guys. Benjamin H7 hey ben. asks, are most jellyfish poisonous? <coughs> yeah, so jellyfish have that stinging cell known as a pneumatocyst. And so not all jellyfish are poisonous. They're, they are venomous. And so a lot of jellyfish will have this stinging cell, um, but they, they're still going to be a little bit venomous, but not that you'll notice. Um, so it's rather the... the um, blue bottles and the irukandji and the, and the box jellyfish that are really venomous, but these guys that you might be found swimming with um, wouldn't wouldn't hurt you. And Lexi from New Zealand. Hey, Lexi. Like to know where are jellyfish's mouths? So the jellyfish's mouth, if you can see the top of the bell pulsing, and then the oral arms coming out from the top of the bell, um, the bottom of the bell, sorry. So the mouth is right inside. So they use their arms to sort of gather up food and then the food goes up the arms and into the, the right in the middle there where the, the food would um, be digested. What's the lifespan of a jellyfish? Uh, so it depends on the species, um, but most jellyfish live um, from 12 to 12 months to, say these guys might be 24 months to two to three years maybe, not, um, not any longer than that. Um, but there are immortal jellyfish um, that aren't necessarily immortal, but they'll, they'll keep regenerating and growing themselves. And then so the polyps that, they, that the jellyfish grow um, or that the, these ephyra spawn from um, can be known to last several years, depending on the species. Cool. Yeah. So guys, we're going to walk over to the bioluminescent beach. So bioluminescence is really cool. It's just an organism or little invertebrate or vertebrates um, found throughout the ocean that create light. So as we walk across the beach here, you notice my feet lighting up. Woo! We've got gecko here running across the beach. Oh, he's a little bit scared. Here we go, Emma. It's Woo! Yes. So jellyfish, you might see them in lots of big blooms throughout the oceans, and this is because there's not really too many predators that. Um, eat jellyfish, but ones that do eat jellyfish are our sea turtles. We have sea turtles and sunfish that eat jellyfish. And so you guys might see Dave and Chong and Myrtle in our live stream of um, our day and night on the reef oceanarium. And so these guys out in the wild would eat jellyfish. And what is uh, the biggest jellyfish? So the biggest jellyfish would be the lion's mane jellyfish. And so the lion's mane has been recorded up to 37 metres long from the top of its bell to the end of its tentacles. And so throughout the ocean, they'd just be seen in massive, massive blobs with lots of tentacles hanging behind it. Thanks, Pat. That's awesome. Too easy. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Panasonic, for the camera. Cheers, guys. Stay safe. <laughs>